Hi guys, I am Ritu Parna Roy and a very warm welcome to my channel. We have a very exciting video for all of you today. We have with us Abhinaya. So Abhinaya and I go back uh, from last year when we both came to know each other through Hustle Post where we were both working. And uh, such a lovely, lovely human being. Uh, so, so much uh, wisdom and so much good productivity tips and so much encouragement from her I have found in the last uh, months that I have known her. I'll link her channel, I'll link her Instagram. You absolutely should, must, must follow her for all the good stuff on productivity mindset on how to make a better version of yourself. Now, apart from all these things, she's also a reader and that is something that we share uh, common, we have in common and then she had this brilliant idea of doing this collaboration video together and I was beyond, beyond thrilled. So this is the second part of the continuation part of uh, this video. The first part is up on Abhinaya's channel. I'll link that video in the description box. Be sure to go ahead, check out her channel and subscribe to her channel as well. So in this video, we are going to be talking about some of our book suggestions which are very very big in a friendly so we or both of us i think we get this question a lot that if we are just starting to read if we are just beginners how do we go about it what kind of books should we read so we have uh, come up with some of our favorites that is suited for beginners and of course if you are not a beginner and if you have not read these books or checked out uh, check out these authors as well I think this can be read by uh, you as well. And the links to the books will also be there in the description box. So do go ahead and check it out. So Abhinaya, how do you feel to be here on my channel? Uh, thank you so much, Ritu, for like, you know, accepting this collaboration. And um, I feel really happy to be on this channel. I'm excited at the same time because uh, the moment you just told, no, uh, hi everyone, this is Ritu Parna. I was like, it felt like I'm watching your channel right now when I'm not on it. So I absolutely love all the content that you upload, especially book related content and uh, busy, like, you know, day in my life, what I eat. So those kinds of videos I really uh, love from your channel. And um, yeah, that's exactly right. Because we share this connection of reading and being readers, I thought it would be an amazing uh, idea to collaborate and share our book recommendations with our readers. Yeah. The other thing I think we share that I think we have both not mentioned is our love for stationery. So I think that is that is something that we should do, like sending each other mystery boxes of stationery. Yeah. I have seen so many of these videos, maybe someday in the future. If you would guys like to see some videos, you can drop them down in the comments. That will be something we'll both love, shopping for yeah. each other and that too for stationery. So that is also something that we have in common very yeah, that's much. That's an amazing idea. I'm excited about it too. <laughs> yeah. So maybe sometime in the future, I'll that catch is. catch hold of you and we'll do that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we'll start with the first book. So um, I'll start with my first suggestion. So my first book that I have for you guys is Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. I have spoken about this book on my Instagram. I have spoken in some previous videos as well. And absolutely must, must read for everybody. So the book is about a student and teacher and the teacher giving out his wisdom and his learnings to his student. And uh, this is absolutely brilliant. And one of the things that I really like is it, that it is it's, it's a small book. It's not a big thing. And you can read it in small, small chapters. And it covers very important things that maybe we don't learn about or we don't talk about. So it will cover about courage, relationships, love, death loss, pain, grief, career, professional life. And I, I feel it's, it's it was written many, many years back. Uh, this is an actual incident, uh, which is now converted into a book. It was written many years back, but I still feel the advice and the, the wisdom that a professor, uh, Professor Mori talks about in this uh, uh, book is still very, very relevant to us now. I think much more relevant now because of the fast paced and technology driven life that we live in. So yeah, do absolutely check it out. This is also one of my very favorite books to read as a beginner because it's divided into easy chapters, small chapters. We can start with one chapter and go ahead. And uh, because it's not really like a continuation, it's not really, it's, it's a story, but because it's like one, one topic every day, 
so uh, it will be very easy to read uh, and um, i think yeah an absolutely absolutely must must own by everybody whatever age group wherever you are in life you should get a copy of this book amazing i actually have a copy of the, that book and okay. the review that you just gave it was like you know too intense i was able to understand the depth of this book just in the uh, review that you gave and i think i'm going to absolutely love it first time i came um, like you know came to know about this book was from the series gilmore girls uh, i don't okay. know if you know about it that also came back like you know long uh, back ago okay. so when i started rewatching it again they told about you taste of mori and everything so i okay. thought, yeah i definitely give it a read so thank you for that i'm going to yeah start reading it <laughs> oh. on the book shelf <laughs> Okay, great. And uh, so, tell me, Abhi, what do you suggest uh, for us today? So, yeah. So the second book that I have, uh, yeah, here is um, Guide, the Guide by R. K. Narayanan. So his style of writing, if you have known anything about, like you know, a fictional village in southern part of India named this Malguri, you will know this man. So he was the man, like you know, behind this fictional village, which is so good, so like you know, dreamy and everything on on its own terms. And um, every story, every single story, a novel of this uh, particular author is written around, like you know, what happens in Malguri, um, the village, uh, their life and everything. Even if it is not exactly true, but I think uh, he would have gotten like you know inspiration from real life incidents, and he has written this amazing book. So this story is revolving around the protagonist uh, who is not really a very good boy when he was uh, at the younger uh, ages, and um, after his father passing away, he had to like you know start doing. He had to um, make his own living and everything to take care of his mom himself and everything, and. Th- that was the time when malguri uh, village was also gaining some uh, like you know it was becoming famous people were uh, visiting the villages and it started becoming all of a sudden a tourist spot so now he uh, this protagonist actually saw the uh, many uses and like you know how opportunity in that particular part and he started becoming a guide so every time the, the train used to come drop he used to take uh, his customers and uh, like you know going to the hotels and Uh, as a guide he will be showing malguri the village and one particular day there are a couple who is coming uh, the couple the uh, husband is an architect and the wife is a dancer but she's not dancing anymore because ladies are not supposed to do that after marriage or whatever so that is how her story line goes here and what happens how the protagonist is seducing the wife not in that uh, exact way but what's happening how the wife is leaving her husband and uh, is she marrying the protagonist what is happening after that certain horrible things happen are they staying married the protagonist and the wife who leaves the husband are they staying together and there is some like you know crazy twist around the corner every time you read this book and um, you will be able to learn a lot now uh, rk narayanan doesn't tell you or teach you any lesson like yeah this is the lesson go ahead and learn it but uh, he teaches you through incidents once you start reading those incidents you will feel like yeah i mean even i might have thought similarly on that situation and it might not be so right so i think i should uh, look up to my thoughts and everything so that is how this book is and if you are into like you know beginner friendly books and if you are uh, looking for any book where you can improve your english vocabulary and everything you definitely have to check out rk narayanan and rustin bond's books book because uh, of their english is so rich but it's not complicated that would be the word it's so uh, beautifully written but still it is beginner friendly so i think you would absolutely love it if you give this a try Oh, so great! So I have not read uh, this book uh, because R. K. Narayan is is one of my favorite Indian authors. Uh, the guide I have I have read uh, the Mahatma. I think that's also a really really good book by R. K. Narayan. So I think R. K. Narayan and as you said, Ruskin Mon and Sudha Murthy. I would like to add these three Indian uh, writers are. brilliant if you are a beginner pick up any of their books i think yeah, many people say that over oh, askin bonds books are for a, a little younger audience you know teenage or like uh, maybe uh, people are in school and but i feel that his stories are so as you said very easy there are no big words there are no big sentences it's very easy and very relatable feelings and emotions and the way he can describe things askin bond specially 
with sudha murthy i think she draws from real life so her stories you will find a lot about modern day relationships or you know career and all of that and she'll draw in from the experiences she has and uh, she'll write so yeah i absolutely i i'll I, this is on my uh, to be re- uh, read list now the guide so i'll surely surely check it out yeah. when you spoke about rustin board no as simple subject as a blue umbrella right he has turned that into yes. a movie like yeah it's, it's so dreamy it's so like you know I just yeah. want to say in that village, that rainy village, have the umbrella and go. So it is so good like that. Yeah, and the way he will describe the umbrella and so minute details. No, it was tattered, and because the sun and rain was falling, it became light blue. And this very simple yeah. thing, it he will explain it such beautifully. Absolutely, absolutely agree with you. Okay, so coming to my next uh, recommendation. so i have actually i'm recommending an author a writer uh, this is satyajit ray i have two of his books here this is indigo this is his uh, short story collection and this is feluda so feluda is like uh, the indian sherlock holmes it's very very famous amongst uh, i think uh, bengalis uh, because this is something that they grew up with my husband has grown up reading this books and i'm showing this book because i have read the translations my bengali is not that um, strong i do i can't read it very properly so this is just the first part there is a second part also this i think feluda is an icon it is our own sherlock holmes as i said and very easy to read you will enjoy the characters and uh, the storyline and the twists and the murders so indigo is more about uh, there really is short thrilling and very captivating kind of stories there is little bit of spices of horrors and all of that as well so i was uh, my father always told me you know my father always told me that you know you should uh, learn bengali because bengali literature is very very rich uh, especially people like satyajit ray and there are so many others but so when i found these translations many many years back i was like very happy i was like i have to read and you i have read this book like i think 10 20 times and today because i have taken it out i'll again read some of the stories i can uh, i can tell you how each of these will end so these are very close to my heart it's very suitable for uh, beginners because as i said they are fast paced they are not very lengthy or uh, very uh, boring very very relatable story lines of course it is written many many years ago so you will not find that technology driven stories um, but yes yeah, very very interesting and covers a lot of things covers a lot of places and um, yeah very very beautiful writing any book by satyajit ray i think for that matter uh, should be uh, is one of the most prolific cinema makers and writers was so one of those uh, people you know so everybody should read at least some part of his uh, work or at least watch some of his work as well so yeah that will be my second recommendation yeah cool that's uh, like um satyajit ray has always been on my like you know cart uh, most of his books i have to go i think i have to go ahead i think the only hindrance we have is book yeah. worms is um uh, you know money <laughs> i think yeah i know i know i know so many books are there on my cart i just like same here for later later that's the Safer, only thing yeah. saheli also like you know heli talks a lot about satyajit ray yeah. and uh, rabindranath tagore i have yeah. one or two books by tagore and yeah absolutely i love his writing yeah. style and everything so after this thing i think i'm more i'm not able to pick i think i will also go to feluda but uh, indigo because of its horror like you know elements and everything yeah. i think yeah oh it is spine chilling uh, it is spine chilling and wow. it has it has uh, no this i, I don't think will this is from 2008 and this was originally written written when so this is so many of his work together i think this is what 2000 so sleep at night after reading this yeah 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 but it is so it is so scary it is written in 2000 so some 2020 22 years back and it is uh, Oh, it is yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's the literature. We have to read it. I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think thanks to ebook format, I think it is still cheaper now. 
and after you did that video about the kindle uh, uh, books that you suggested i really like that video and after that it also led me to think ki chalo we'll try because honestly yes it does get expensive and it needs a lot of storage like physical space yeah with the kindle i think that is what i'm really really liking and after you suggested i went ahead and took a kindle um unlimited subscription and i was like okay what are the books she is uh, talking about and i was like theek hai you know start reading and that was the biggest thing for me that it does not require physical space and many things are free of course in the subscription it's included not free but in the uh, subscription subscription so yeah yeah, yeah so that's there yeah. okay so what is your next pick for us yeah yeah so the next pick is going to be reshma Kureishi's being Reshma uh, book, which is slightly different to all the suggestions that, like you know, I think we gave in general. Because yeah. This is not a story. This is um, you can call it biography slash like you know autobiography because uh, this book is not written by Reshma, but the storyline is. So she, whatever happened in her life, she used to like you know sit and narrate it to Tanya Singh, and Tanya was the one who actually. Uh, wrote the book in English because Reshma is not so fluent in English and she spoke in her native language. Uh, the thing with uh, being Reshma is that even though it is slightly different, it does not come under like you know any fiction, non-fiction, rom-com, or uh, right. any of such categories. But I still think it is um, a very good book and a absolutely beginner-friendly book because of its easy like you know language. But apart from that. i think um the diary of a young girl and reshma uh, being reshma I-, i would say these are two books everybody should be reading even if you don't want to be a reader at least listen to their stories yeah. via audio books or anything so what happened to reshma is she is a um, she was a 12 years old when this incident happened if i'm not wrong 12 or 16 years old uh, when this incident happened so uh, she was having a good life um she was a young girl living happily in a village even with some family problems here and there but uh, all of a sudden one day one incident because uh, of a problem with some other family member because of a sister she had to go through this horrible incident so she was i'm not going to use any like you know mention any words here it might be it might come too strong but um, she is an accident attack with victim and um, what happened after that how this happened what are the like you know thoughts these men will have when they are doing it and um, as a woman how she felt uh, she's not a woman actually when this happened she was a girl so how she felt and because we don't have a lot of uh, knowledge about acid attack what happens how her mother treated her immediately because when the acid is there you just think it's water or something it's burning and she used to take her like you know shawl and everything and wipe her face off which is something we should not do because that also caused a lot of damage to her in and we uh, i was able to understand all that and how our indian system like you know uh, the law and order and every system works so that really really uh, too heavy but uh, even if it is too heavy i think we should definitely go ahead and read it because she ends it with an absolutely beautiful message because she started her own youtube channel she is a model she has modeled ramp worked with uh, deepika padukone and many like you know of those uh, stars like that and um, she started her youtube channel with after all those like you know plastic surgeries still the scars everything was there but um, with that she started giving confidence to other people and she is running now uh, like you know an ngo kind of thing where she's helping other victims uh, like that so i think that's the bravest thing having such a horrible incident just in few seconds her life completely changed but how this woman turned her life after that you will feel so positive about your life you will feel after reading this book that anything there is nothing that you can't do you can take care of anything that is life is throwing at you so i think just to get that feeling i would really, really recommend it it's not dark but it is heavy uh, because it is a real life incident so i would still uh, recommend this book yeah it's very surprising i have not uh, i did not know of this book at all and uh, even though we did exchange uh, the lists of books that we were doing i i did not go ahead and look up any of the books because i was like i want to like you know have that first impression from you only and like i don't want to listen i don't want to go ahead and spoil the thing but yes i agree with you there are some books that uh should be read irrespective of whether you are a reader or whether you are only fiction reader or non fiction reader or whatever so yeah so this will be also something that i would love to read and get to know because this is such a 
taboo topic uh, uh, something that we don't uh, speak about that we don't know about and in the recent years i think people have started coming up and narrating their experiences and uh, really i don't think we have any any words uh, for that but uh, yes this is something that i'll check out surely so actually continuing on this train of thought that there are some books that we should read in diary of a young girl is also one of my thing uh, books that i would say that read it once uh, recently i came across this book the tattooist of auschwitz and this is another book that i feel that everybody should read this is a, a real incident heather morris is the one who has written it is narrated by uh, I, i hope i pronounced it right lale i don't know if it's a uh, wrong pronunciation then please forgive me um so it's he is an auschwitz survivor he was the one who used to tattoo people the number that they had and uh, it it reads like a movie the book and uh, most i think the most i'll not say anything about the story just go ahead and read it i'll just say that he was a holocaust survivor uh the one thing that stands out in the whole book is that uh, how this person had so much hope and courage that he realized that where he had landed there were people dying every day uh, yes it can get heavy it can get heartbroken uh, heartbreaking i have cried reading the book because of the cruelties that you see and it's not what you read you then sit and realize and process that it actually happened so it happened to people uh people were killed off so mercilessly for for being whatever they were for whatever ethnicity or religious regions anyways so the courage and the hope i think that is what it will stand out in the book uh to have that determination in one of the darkest periods of one's life where you know you can die any moment where you don't know if anything is of surety to have that grit and determination that i will make it out of here alive i think spectacular narration spectacularly written and must must read if it should be i it can take some time for you to get through the book it is some it's a little uh, big book it is some i'll tell you some 200 250 300 pages but read it it's amazing it's amazing uh should be read by everybody yeah yeah Well, thank you so much. Like, except for Tuesdays with Mori, that is also I have bought this book because so many have uh, spoken about it, but I didn't know the outline of the book. So I absolutely you know love watching you give recommendation and review of that book. I think uh, it, it's not something the name of the protagonist. This is the story. Go read it. But it was how you felt, and if I want to feel the same, right? Yeah. There was some. Uh, amazing like comedy uh, recommendation also there were some uh, you know some yeah heavy recommendations there were some romantic recommendations so i think yeah um, it's a very good mix yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a very good mix yeah yeah absolutely so it was going to be helpful for, for yeah yeah absolutely and it was so fun uh, to do this video and i hope everybody watching this video also had a really really good time don't forget to check out avinaya's channel her instagram all of the links will be in the description and the books also will be in the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was so fun to shoot don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you again with another video till then stay happy stay healthy stay safe bye bye